New at 9 tonight, we're hearing from the family of a man who was shot and killed by Chandler police earlier this week. This began as a robbery call, but it soon turned deadly. Fox 10 Stephanie Bennett joins us live with details. Steph? John and Christina, good evening. Well, family are obviously left devastated over all of this. They're now demanding justice and want answers as to why police thought this was the best decision to shoot and kill this man who they say was going through a mental episode and was also suffering from a self-inflicted wound. He was a person. He wasn't the person that they're portraying him out to be. And s situations need to change because it could be your brother. Be your son that had a bad day or mental illness he doesn't deserve to be shot for that. Jacqueline Ring now fighting to find justice after she says her big brother, 39 year old Richard Ring, was shot and killed by Chandler police Wednesday. I had a conversation with him on the phone about 20 minutes before this incident happened. It all started just before noon. Police responded to a robbery at Ace Hardware near Alma School and Warner Roads. Officers were told Ring was shoplifting and struggled with an employee to leave the store before running away. Ring was later found inside a home. Chandler police say when Ring stepped outside, he was armed with a knife. Police say after he ignored officers' commands to drop the knife, they shot him. Jacqueline says he was not not a threat, but instead needed officers help. He had sustained a cut from himself mm -hmm. that he wasn't going to walk away from the scene from anyways. Mm -hmm. So how do you need to put seven rounds into him mm -hmm. to finish the job? It seems to me like there's kind of a, a lack of training. Mm -hmm. De-escalation. Uh, De-escalation tactics. Families say he suffered from mental illness and a brain injury from a prior motorcycle accident. They want police to respond better when people are in a mental crisis. He's not somebody who would do those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And he just needed help. Everybody has a bad day, but you shouldn't be shot for it. This week alone, there have been three officer-involved shootings and 21 for a total in Maricopa County since the start of the year. For now, that family has a GoFundMe. A link can be found on our website. Reporting live tonight in Chandler, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.